I am Lily Mohammed. Coming up within the next 60 minutes comprehensively, these are the stories to expect. A national service personnel resident at the University of Ghana campus is in critical condition after falling from the fourth floor of the Mensa Saba Hall Annex A. Also in this bulletin, the Ministry of Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation has hinted that 1% of the country's gross domestic product will be dedicated to research, development and innovation. The world is science. And so research should drive our economy. Welcome back. This is News Tonight here on GH1 TV. The Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, Dr. Kwekwefi, has hinted that 1% of the country's GDP will be dedicated to research, development and innovation in an interaction with scientists and staff on the Savannah Agricultural Research Institute. Dr. Kwekwefi urged the institute to showcase their innovative research activities to enhance public confidence and commercial viability of research findings. The Savannah Agriculture Research Institute is one of the 13 research institutes of the CSR in the Northern region. It was established to promote innovation and management of best practices in the agricultural sector to enhance food productivity in the North. The institute, since its establishment 27 years ago, has developed various crop varieties adopted by small-scale farmers in the Northern regions. Funding from donor agencies and foreign collaborators are the only source of funding for research activities of the institutes. The internally generated funds are used to improve the operational activities and maintenance of its laboratory equipment for research. However, during a tour and interaction session with scientists and staff of the Savannah Agriculture Research Institutes in the Northern region, the sector minister, Dr. Kweku Ifriye, challenged scientists to showcase their research findings in the agricultural sector to attract needed commercialization drive to boost the economy. The early yielding maize, the uh, medium, the, the, the variety that will resist uh, what we call it, pests, and so on and so forth, that will reduce post harvest losses. All this knowledge came from CSIR Institute, including especially SARI. So that is it. Those things, and I told them in my address that, well, it's a delicate balance, but I will find a way to make sure that Ghanaians know what is happening in their research institutions. The minister further said research must drive the economy. Therefore, 1% of the country's GDP will be used to promote research activities for development. Research sometimes is universal, but there are certain research which is unique to a country. So all those activities, so long as they are research-based, we should use about 1% of our economy to support it. In fact, there are certain countries where they use as much as two, two and a half, sometimes even three percent Korea at one time. However, after the minister's tour, the minister assured staff that obsolete equipment will be replaced to enhance the research activities of the institute for commercialization drive in 